Hello there, YouTube. It's Clash with Climber Brando, bringing you a war recap. Skimming through the bases right now, showing you this really, you know, wonderfully delightful engineered clan that was, I don't know how, like, there's engineered and then there's super engineered. Or just rushed and engineered in the same base, in the same clan, I mean. So, anyways, how it broke down was, we, there was seven uh, TH-11s versus 19. 19. So I'm, I'm a little uh, concerned on how that one was figured out. But anyways, this was this was pre pre uh, update matchmaking, which just happened yesterday. So uh, I actually had sent I sent them screenshots because I you know I kind of wanted to help them figure out the algorithm a little bit because some of it is unfair and some of it is kind of fucked up. So uh, yeah. I think engineering makes it fun, you know, to a certain extent, but I think there's a point where, where it's taken too far. You know, clans should be matched up against other clans, yeah, of similar, like, uh, you know, weight category. Just like in boxing, you know, you got, you, if someone's 50, if they, someone has an obvious advantage, it's gonna, you know, featherweight versus a heavyweight. I mean, of course, the featherweight somehow could still win in some weird, you know, you know, technique or speed or using something to his advantage. But you know, heavyweights will, you know, smash you if they catch you. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm trying to say now. Uh, I got lost. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. So I wasn't supposed to show one of those replays, but yeah, I don't know. Anyways, um. Yeah, so rushed, like I said. But so you have that guy there. And that's the bottom of the clan, right? But I mean they still have those guys that you know, they'll smash out the THAs, but they 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 put those really low to you know, no walls, no defenses. That I don't like. That kind of engineering isn't fun for me. You know, having max walls and max defenses, and then not having an eagle. You know, going the point five route. I, I I get that, but the no walls, no defenses. Uh, I think that is taking it too far. Point fives. I'm okay with point fives. You know. As long as it balances out. Because, I mean, if you think about it, if they do it, even if they, the other team does have more point fives, then, well, that just means they don't have an eagle, so basically they're a TH-10. Uh, you know, as a 10.5. So, um, it's a little bit easier to three-star for your um, 11s. Well, can be. It depends on, the, you know... You know, still comes down to base design and a lot of other stuff, and so you, you can't just get away with, you know. I mean, there's a lot of variables in, in, involved. Is kind of what I'm getting at. So, but for just rushed and that, some people take quantity over quality, and then that actually gives them an edge. And 19 uh, TH11s is an edge. No, a no skill edge, but an edge nonetheless. So, yeah, and then on top of that, they put you know some maxed TH11s on top, so they can range, you know, the same, you know. Basically, they they'll decide how many stars are gonna get put on the table already. 
because they'll, they'll wipe out everything else and you won't be able to three their max th11 it's the, well they're i think they're playing the cards it's like of course we possibly could three star their you know max th11 but you know it just didn't happen We still gave it our best, it's just, man, the wide maps and uh, a few other things just, it didn't help. You know, it's not like we got completely, it's not like we got completely smashed, but four stars is a big difference. Also, they had the percentage too, I mean, you have that many wardens, it's just, you know, you're gonna have high percentage and more three stars. So you can burn through uh, you know get through one inferno and we have engineer bases it's just you know not trying to like make excuses I'm just trying to give you a feel for how it is uh, without showing my bases because I'm not going to show my bases so I just have to like I'm, I'm trying to build the picture for you the listener if there if, if anyone is listening <laughs> yeah anyways so we still had some good attacks Madi had some good ones AQ walks and what not AQ walk bowler Rolling the bowlers. Which I don't know. I don't know why you take on two infernos this way, but okay. Usually you go in one inferno at a time, unless if you do. Uh, I'll show you an attack later that I did today. Seven, eight, six brothers. Didn't three start, but got pretty damn close. I just got unlucky with the AQ a little bit, and maybe my needed a little bit more patience. But uh, on certain bases, you can actually hit both infernos at the same time. It just requires a little bit of thinking and uh, preparation. So uh, that being said. Uh, but yeah. Good two star, but I think uh, with the changing the position of his, his entry point uh, could have been a three star. And maybe three jumps instead of two. But, you know, is what it is. Still haven't uh, got a war search in yet. Oh no! Actually, the the new war uh, just started a war today with uh, in relaxed adults, and the matchup see actually seems pretty fair. Uh, I mean, balanced. Nothing. Nothing was crazy or. You know, I wouldn't say like, oh, we got fucked or anything like that, or I don't think they, you know, could say that either. It's pretty, still pretty even. I think they're a little bit heavier on defense, but our offense is okay. But still, it'll make for like a good balance, you know. If we want to go back to boxing, it's like, you know, two people can be the same weights, but you know, one could be, you know. Southpaw, or somebody has a great right hook, and the other guy, you know, has a uppercut. And, you know, it's, it's just different shit. Different techniques to get the same result, which is win a war. Uh, as long as you're at the same like equivalent weight, I 
guess. But I don't know how, I still don't know how they're gonna work out right. If someone will actually have a clear advantage. Because, I, I don't know. For this war, I don't see a, a clear advantage in the current war in Relax. I mean, this one was fucked. This one was really fucked. Here's a nice two star from a TH9 on a engineer 11. Zapquake drags. I don't know. I don't. That was actually the leader of their clan, too, I think. Tony Tran. Not even sure how to pronounce that. It is a Vietnamese clan, so. I don't know, it could be like some or some shit, I don't fucking know. But, yep. More 11s, all. I mean, it was a 30 30 war with 19 fucking 11s. What to do, what to do. Well, it, like I said, this was pre-update, so... Meh. Guess it's all gonna be different now, so... Was well, gonna show, like, the email, the letter, the, the screenshots, and the, the mail I sent to Supercell, but it's like, now that the update come out, it's like, what's the point of even showing? It's not like... You know, they already came out with the update, so it's not like it. what I say is going to make them come out with the update again, so maybe a little redundant, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Anywho, if you guys want to see that, uh, well, comment down below, maybe, uh, I don't know, I make a video about it but uh, right now I just don't think it I think it's pointless because they already came out with the update so so yeah a little late on that rage there dark night anyways this is the first three star which went, didn't go as planned for him. It looked like it was gonna be okay, but what, did, what happened? His funnel like went to crap. I think the baby drag caught a bomb or some shit. No? What happened? Well, he just got, uh, both Archer Towers just picked him off. Uh, and then, oh, that's what happened. Yeah, the healer caught a bomb and then the witches got smashed. And that was supposed to be the funnel. And everything just decided to fucking walk. It, I actually was watching this one live and I was just like, oh my gosh, that did not just happen. And then mir miraculously, the BK walks back in. So that was kind of fun to see. But it all worked out. The healers on that AQ were pretty boss. Good thing the walls were weak. But it was good stuff. Some of the base designs, I, I just, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I felt about their bases. I like their top bases were kind of okay, but uh, I don't know. Everything else was just like kind of crappy.
Anyways. Um, I'm not really sure what I wanted to point was. It's just a, yeah. It's kind of an archival video. Uh, hope you liked it. I don't know. I just kind of rambling on for the most part, but. <laughs> Yep, just wanted to share this clan, see what you're getting into. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.